All right, guys, we got another tech tool back on our hands. So in today's video, I will turn this office pre-built media PC that I just picked up on Facebook Marketplace for $25 into a nice ultra low budget gaming PC. Although this PC is like 12 years old, comes with an i5 third gen, but I will show you that this is still capable of playing of many games at, you know, at 1080p low settings. I will do a few upgrades to it. What we got on our hand is this um, old power spec tech tool back. Um, if you see power spec, you already know that uh, this is a micro center brand. And then that means that there's nothing inside this computer that should be proprietary. So also you can see that how nice this case still look pretty amazing. It does come with a very nice CD drive. That's amazing. And we do have five USBs on the front two audio and then one micro SD card reader so which is pretty good and then now let's see what I got for $25 and also like I still feel like you know this is the best way you want to turn a PC into a gaming PC this is the best way to do it you know go online or your local market especially if you want to type budget I recommend you to you know look at the Facebook marketplace you know eBay every day um, Macari even offer up now I had stopped using offer, but even offer um, now you will still find pretty capable deal. Let's look what we have. Um, I have to say, guys, this case is still pretty nice. So inside the PC, what we have, um, we have a 500 watt inland power supply. Inland is also a micro center brand, which is very good. And then, um, pretty sure it does come with a PCI connector. Got the wires in here. Uh, yes, we do have a, an 8-pin PCI connector for a graphics card. That means that we could use any graphics card that requires only an 8-pin. So that's pretty good. And then we do have SATA and Molex. Okay. And then um, also the motherboard is an H77H2WM version 1.0. And then um, also under this Thermotech is an i5-3570K. So we, that is amazing, but the only thing is that since this is a K variant, we won't be able to overclock it because the H2, the H motherboards do not support any overclock. As for when we have 4 gig 1066U and we have another, we have another 4 gig 1066U again. So you know in 2024 going into 2025 you know 8 gig is definitely not recommendable at all you definitely need at least 16 gigabytes of ram at least and then especially ddr3 are very cheap now if you're still using the ddr3 i definitely recommend to try to at least go up all the way to 32 gigs that's if your motherboard can support it and then um as you can see that the motherboard does come with four DIMM slots, which is very good because the RAM that I will be upgraded it to is 16 gigs, but it's four gigs per six. So that is very good that it has four DIMM slots for the RAM. And then also it does come with a Wi-Fi card. So I did there's no antenna since he told me that he was using it as a, he bought it as a media server. pre built for micro center. So that is very good. And then only $25 for this, guys. Trust me, this is the best way to save money. And then by going that route too, which I did went that route, I had a pre-built, I upgraded, and then I just keep saving until I could buy a full, you know, a full gaming PC, till I built my first gaming PC. So that is one of the best ways to do it. Especially that nowadays you would find a lot of pretty good deals on some pre-built PC like you know but um this one does come with the i5 so i will show that um i5s are still capable of playing many games you know at 1080p especially low settings and as long as you pair it with the right graphics card so now let's just do these upgrades and then so we could start testing this bad boy
now what I will do is that I will install these rim sticks into the rim slots. And then um, since it's four of them, remember to all this line up this line with this line on the motherboard for it to go in. Make sure it's cool thing about DDR3, DDR3 slots like they're shorter. There's one that's very short and then the other one is way longer. So it's easy to install. Since we have four M6, so we're gonna use all the slots. Now, you just put them one by one and then the only thing you have to do is just push it all the way down. And that's about it. Just push it in there until you hear the click sound. Okay, this one is in, all right. All four are in right now, so now, sadly, there's no XMP on this motherboard, which is pretty sad because the speed will definitely benefit the i3. So that is not a problem. It should still perform pretty well. The next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to install this Team Group SATA SSD. And all you have to do is install it. Remember, the smaller size, there's the the set of connector and the set of power for the big one. So set of power is gonna go into this. The, that's the big one. You just gotta match the shape. That's about it. And as for the set of connector, it's right here. It's already plugged because he was the seller was using it as a media server. He told me he had a couple of hard jobs in there, so he took them, which is not a problem. So we will use an SSD anyway because it will give us faster you know boot time and we could download the game quicker so we definitely benefit of a SATA instead so now we just gotta put the smaller one attach it it's very nice now we can just stuff it up here somewhere let me make sure we get the PCI connector wire out because we're going to need it in order to plug our graphics card and this is a mess now the only thing I have to do is to install this RX 584 gigabyte. I really wanted the 8 gig variant, but the people in my area were asking a bit too much for it. And then plus, I didn't want to order it online due to shipping and everything and wait. So I just wanted to get this video out. So this should still work pretty well with this combo. All right, so now that's just all we got to do now is to install it on this PCIe 16 lane. Put it straight down. Put it straight down and push it. That's it. As long as you hear the click sound, I mean it's good. And then now I did remove the USB 3.0. I just gotta put it back in so the front USBs can work. Okay, so now all you have to do after you install your graphics card, this one is only a six pin, which is pretty good. So all we need is to connect six pin to this. So And then we should be able to turn our other PC on and then install the games and so we can start playing. All right, now all I have to do now is to make sure I put a screw. Okay, so now here's the total of what the PC cost me. So now all we have to do now is that um, I will then install windows and then so we can start testing the games